What's up guys, welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video next match. Cross balanced cup last match here in group H and then uh, back uh, to the beginning for the last time, right? So two decks, we have um, first of all Zodiacs, so from 2016, a different list compared to a previous year. Doesn't need an introduction, right? One of the best lists here, definitely a title candidate, let's, um, well, let's be honest. Uh, the other decklist is also a big powerhouse, we have Burning Abyss. I've made a change compared to the last list from Master Duel 5. I, um, I pretty much overestimated the list, I guess, or overestimated the Burning Abyss, PK, Engine, whatever, but, well, yeah, you have, like, Corona, uh, no ban lists as well. Um, new, new support, like, from Secret Slayers, for example, Adamantipator, Eldlish. So Burnabas kinda underperformed to my expectations because again Tori Guide was also put back to 2 uh, late 2019 so I was like who knows that Burning Abyss is going to be like a new force again. Again, I want to try it out but decided to change, change up the list back to one from 2016 so a PK list with like triple, double or three Dante, uh, double Beatrice as well, definitely a strong list, triple Maxine not to forget, triple Veiler so yeah. Let's go for it. Uh, BA starts, BA goes first, going second here, and this is a problem. Um, immediately got blown away by MXC. I was like, well, maybe, um, like, <laughs> I, I can't give, like, BA more draws, right? I mean, Brawl Bull for the potential search, okay, but again, that, that would result in, like, a plus for the opponent here. So, yeah, just ending on Dryden for the potential pop, but that's, well, basically where it ends. Problem here again is again two sets, even though Fogblade isn't really that strong against Zodiacs. Uh, it might prevent the search, prevents the Trident, but you know, Zodiacs can definitely play around that. But, um, well, yeah, something like Beatrice is not something I, I can play around. Sending the Farfa, I think, here from the deck to the graveyard, banishing the Thoroughblade, and that's a problem. Um, Thoroughblade returns here, but um, yeah, there is there is not really anything I can do. This particular Zool list, Marce Marcello's list, by the way, first list European Championship back then, did not main deck the Ash Blossom. Instead, it um, or this this list main deck, I believe, two or three Ghost Ogre, and um, it did side deck the Blossoms. But here in game number one, you see that. Um, I, I need my side deck. I definitely need my side deck against a deck like Burning Abyss. So double Beatrice and the Barbar, yeah, Barbar, dealing, I believe, 900 burn damage, and that's definitely more than enough to attack for game here with the double Beatrice. So I immediately won zero behind. Going first at this opening end, delicious, 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 delicious. Uh, I believe the Flying Seas were side tagged as well, not really sure. I, I believe three, yeah. Uh, I side tagged triple uh, Gamma Seal as well. Uh, what else did I side tag? Book of Moon was... Uh, Dimensional Barrier. Yeah, yeah, two copies of Barrier. But yeah, anyway, um, this is a solid opening. Uh, and again, Red Pier for the, the standard opening combo, I guess, with Dryden and then a rank 4 Exceed play. That's either Dagusta Emerald, the option of Tornado Dragon, which obviously you won't make. Well, especially first turn. Or a Dweller. And of course, Dweller, you know, like instant uh, goal for that, especially against a deck like Burning Abyss. The Majesty's Fiend is also one of those side deck cards here for Burning Abyss. I believe three of? Yeah, three side decked. But um, it's, it, it feels a bit like uh, Balls to the Wall, right? Just Special Summon your BA, for example, and then Tribute Summon for Majesty's Fiend and go from there. Then again, as I mentioned before, I do side deck a lot of outs for something like Majesty's Fiend, Gamma Seals, Enemy Controller, Book of Moon. Um, there is more. Well, there, there should be more, right? So uh, it's not really that big of a threat. But then again, a well timed Majesty's Fiend could definitely seal a duel here. Um, solid field, I guess. Daikus' Emerald was uh, stopped by the Fog Blade, but the Tornado Dragon will eventually make it live again. Uh, probably. Sh ah, okay, yeah. Small mistake. I or well, no, it, it wasn't this duel. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Double try and it's cool. Draw the Gamma Seal off of the Daikus' Emerald. Um, yeah, it was this duel. So uh, Tiger Mortar again re-equipping something to Daikus' Emerald. I just should have uh, re-equipped something to Dweller. You know, why not? Um, I don't think I was able to attack for a game, so deal massive damage. 
Uh, Burning Abyss is going to survive with like a couple of 100 life points. Yeah, 800 life points left. And here is where Potential Dweller could definitely could have locked up the duel. Then again, there is Ash Blossom in hand. There is a Flying Sea as well, so this is definitely my duel. Yeah, indeed. What, what can the deck do, right? So going second again, and I do leave in, I believe, one or two Solemn Strikes. Um, I, I, you know, like, a triple Gamma Seal are in the side deck, uh, triple Flying Seas are all side deck, so uh, I think I could have uh, I just left in, like, one or two strikes. Uh, Majesty's Fiend, not that big of a deal, and the, the double uh, Twin Twisters, uh, that's not that... Well, I do get the triple Twin to RDI, you know, like Twin Twister set during the end phase, blow away the opponent's back row here, in this case being a potential dimensional barrier. You know, you, you want to hit those during the end phase, but um, I do for, go for like the standard Hammer Kong, um, Dryland opening turn, so again now Dryland cannot be targeted, that could be important for something like Fogblade. Immediately drop uh, to Abyss Dweller 2.0, being a Flying Sea, completely blocking the Burning Abyss deck uh, out of the duel, uh, basically from playing the game. Prevents the Exceed Summon, plus it gives them a non-Burning Abyss on the field life. Insane card right against the deck. Not really sure if I can attack for... I, I think I can attack for game, or at least uh, depends if I'm giving the back row here a bit too much credit. Probably a bit too conservative on my behave. But yeah, anyway, so Dryden giving me the extra draw, I do have an Ash Blossom ready, I have a potential Gamma Seal and or Emmy Controller ready for something like Beatrice uh, or Majesty's Fiend. There is the Solemn Strike set, there is a Cyclone, okay, there again, this should be my duel. Double Dryden also. I do opt to not Ash Blossom here, probably should have done that. I mean, well, yeah. Double Trident eventually forces out the double destruction here, but I mean, this probably could have been uh, avoided, right, with the Ash Blossom, but it's again not going to matter too much. Getting the extra jar here with Emerald, and this is more than enough, right? More than enough advantage. And this is where, you know, like the side deck definitely comes into play in favor of, let's say, Zodiacs, like the Gamma Seals. The, the Flying Seas already did a lot, and as you see, Burning Abyss do also have access to Flying Sea. Definitely saw it against the deck like. Zeus. Um, so Burning Abyss going first here, that's definitely a solid first turn opening, Beatrice, Beatrice for the potential interruption, uh, triple, uh, uh, double Majesty's Fiend, uh, milled off of I believe double Dante, there is a Dante on the field, double set I believe for all those sets being Fogblade, which is not that great against something like Burning Abyss, but uh, uh, against something like Zeus, so, um, but yeah. This is still Zodiacs, and you can easily play around all of those disruptions and the lucky Book of Moon to put the, um, the Flying Sea phase down. So now I can still go for my extra deck place, my Exceed place. The Twin Twister did help out to get rid of the, well, like, Fog Blades, maybe Emptiness. But, um, yeah, I believe it was like Fog Blade and Twin Twister here. So, it's all good. Eventually keep establishing my board, have a couple of options, not use Soul Charge and, you know, like... Um, the whip tail equi equipping itself to a zodiac monster and then suicide crash or crash into one of the defensive uh, monster or defense position monsters. Those monsters will be banished, but this probably would have been better. Uh, you know, like um, Dweller during the same turn and Trident either pop uh, Beatrice or Dante. Dante prevent the Skarm search as well. So eventually opted to go for that particular play. The dimensional barrier play was a bit iffy. Now I think about, I mean. It, it's not going to negate Beatrice, because again, Beatrice will not be phased up on the field when she resolves, so Dimensional Barrier will not negate that. But again, in the long run, it's not going to matter. Dweller is just too strong against a deck like BA, and especially if, if you can follow it up with uh, Destruction at the same time, like Dryden. So again, some uh, Ram Ram plays, not really sure if I can go for a game, because the, the what is it called, the... You know, the hand trap, the flying sea is still face down on the field, uh, dealing some sweet damage here. Yeah, Dweller still has a material during my opponent's turn, and again, still if that goes to Emerald as well, refueling my extra deck, drawing my last Thoroughblade, and here I was like, okay, this should be my duel, this duel is in the back, but, um, Majesty's Fiend. <laughs> so I can't pop here, and uh, I need to top deck, I really need to top deck here, Maxi, nope. 
that's not going to help. Put everything in defense position and um, yeah, I, <laughs> I can't do anything. But luckily I do play like a gazillion outs for the Majesty Sphinx. Like triple gamma seal, uh, any controller, Spook of Moon has already been used up. Uh, there is more, but um, yeah, this was definitely more than enough, right? Um, so I think we have a well-deserved winner. The, 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 the side deck definitely did a lot. So next matchup, it's all the way back to the beginning. And I know YouTube uh, decided to um, like cut uh, down on the um, on the you know the voting system. So I don't think there is uh, the potential to go for use those polls. But uh, maybe I, I should look into something uh, external, external to YouTube for some votes. But uh, other than that, it's just using the comment section like always. So guys, feel free to leave your prediction. This is a big one. We have performances and pals versus in. Invoked Dragon, also a deck from Master Rule 4. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.